Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you three graphic design tools that are absolutely free. You can install on your computer or laptop and you can create high quality professional graphic designs using these three tools. When we talk about graphic design tools, two top of the line tools come to mind. One is Photoshop and the other is Canva. Now Canva you cannot install on your devices. You have to work in the browser. And some of the times we want to install graphic design tools on our computer so that we could work offline. Photoshop is very expensive. And as you will see in a minute that these three tools are almost as good as Photoshop for all of the online applications. If you are interested in printing images, then Photoshop might be better than these. But other than that, these three tools are not far behind Photoshop. And you are getting these absolutely free installable on your devices. So these three tools can be considered as a good alternative to Adobe Photoshop and Canva. In particular, if you are interested in creating vector graphics, vector images are those images that are resolution independent and better suited for online applications. So when we say resolution independent, it means that you can zoom in to any level and the sharpness of the image will stay the same. I will highlight the key features of these tools, how is the learning curve? So therefore, hopefully you will get some value from this video. So without further ado, let's get started. The installable graphic design tool at number three in our list is paint.net. These are some of the salient features of paint.net. It is completely free and installable on your devices. It has many image manipulation and enhancement tools. And the main reason people use this is it's friendly and easy to use user interface and you can work in layers that allows you to create some amazing graphic designs. It has many special effects and blend options. Let me show you a brief overview of paint.net and how to get this. In order to download paint.net, you type getpaint.net press enter this website will open getpaint.net then you click on download and you will see a lot of ads here but don't worry about that you click on this paint.net 5.0.9 this is the latest version as you can see released just one month ago click on that then this page will open and you want to click on this second link because as you can see that on microsoft store paint.net is paid product but you can get it free here so click on that and then you click on free download now and then you download this zip file i'm downloading at my desktop and click save now on the right hand side i can see scanning and then this file will be saved there i click on the folder and this is the folder and now this folder is selected on my desktop and i can click on extract all then i click on extract and now this is the installer file dot web i click on that and then i click on continue and now i select express and click next agree to their terms and i click next and finally I click finish and now paint.net program will open up and this program is being compared with Photoshop, Corel and other similar software because it has so many tools for image manipulation for creating images and these are the tools at the top there are few menus and most of these are self explanatory for example in file menu you have file operations in edit menu you have some copy paste options. Similarly, in view menu, you can zoom in and out. In image menu, you can set the size of the image depending on the type of image you want to create. Also, there are some flip and rotate tools. You can work in layers and this is very powerful. And what it means is that you can work independently on more than one images on top of each other. Then there are some image adjustment tools where you can change the brightness and contrast, some hue and saturation settings, invert and alpha settings. Then the effects menu is very powerful where you have many effects. For example, you can blur certain part of the images, bokeh and few types of blurs. In the artistic tab, you have some sketch and oil painting tools. But most of the tools are available in this tools section. On the left hand side, there are the selection tools and you might be familiar with Photoshop. You have rectangular circular selections and then you have this magic wand, similarly paint bucket and paint brush. 
then you can remove backgrounds by using these tools then there is also erase and color picker tools available here so a wonderful free photo editing tool with a lower learning curve a lot of tutorials are available online the installable graphic design tool number two in our list is gimp and these are some of the salient features of gimp it's completely free and open source you can generate images and vector files you can generate text effects resize images and this is normally a paid feature in other programs including canva you can remove background you can work on pdfs and you can work in layers i will show you an example in a minute and you can make gifs so let me show you how you can get this tool and its user interface and i will quickly show you a layers example you can download gimp from this website gimp.org slash downloads and then you click on download gimp directly you can also get it from microsoft store and then you simply click on the installable file and it will be installed on your computer once installed this is the user interface for gimp and on the left hand side you have all these image manipulation tools and when you hover over any tool you can see the description of the tool and also a shortcut key for example this is a move tool and the shortcut is m this is the selection tool this is free select crop tool and gimp is very powerful image editor and if you look online you will see people comparing gimp with photoshop because it has all the advanced tools that photoshop has although photoshop is the most advanced image editor but gimp is very close to that and at the top menu you will see file tools open and save in the edit menu you have copy paste then you can select based on color and you have a selection editor as well then you can flip rotate and zoom in this view toolbar in the image area you have these color modes and the only thing that you can say a drawback of gimp is that cmyk colors are not available so what are cmyk colors those are the colors that are used for printing and the benefit is that if you use cmyk colors you can see how the image will look like when it's printed so this is one of the drawbacks but if you are working online and your images are going to be staying online then gimp is no less than photoshop you can create high quality vector images in gimp and vector images are resolution independent it means that you can zoom in and zoom out without losing the sharpness of the image then you can also work in layers and working in layers can produce some dramatic effects on your images let me show you a quick simple example so i open an image and let me open this image and if i now add a new layer blank layer okay so this is a blank layer on top of my image so let me select a color this one for example and i bring this color to my layer here i know my top layer is blue color but see if i change the opacity on the right hand side this 100 number if i change this to a little less number for example around 60 you can see that there is a bluish color added to my image I can also add few filters here as well for example if I click on add border I can select the border size and a border will be added to my image and by using this text tool on the left I can add some text to my image as well so this is an amazing graphic designer tool that you can use offline by installing it because working online is not an option of all of the users worldwide some users they don't have good online access or a limited online access so the purpose of this video was to show you what are some of the graphic design and image editing tools that you can use offline by installing on your devices and the installable graphic design tool at number one in our list is inkscape although inkscape has many features but i have highlighted just a few on this slide it has a huge set of tools for graphic designers you can create vectors pdfs with hyperlinks which is very powerful and you can even save your brush setting for later use completely free the only drawback is that it has somewhat higher learning curve so it will take some time to learn this amazing tool you can customize it for increased productivity and as i will show you shortly that there are a lot of options for editing images and a huge number of output options so let us see how you can get this tool and then i will highlight some of its features on its user interface 
Now to get Inkscape, you simply type Inkscape in Google and then this is the website Inkscape.org. Click on download Inkscape and Inkscape is available almost for any platform and then you can click on this all platforms and you can download Inkscape for Windows, for Mac OS or for Linux. So my one is Windows 64 bit. So I click on download and I save this on my desktop and now the download is complete. I can click on this little arrow to open it and it will start the installer of Inkscape. So I click next, next and install and it will take a few seconds and then the final step is click finish. Once installed, as you can see that this is the icon for Inkscape. So you click on that and you will see this dialog box. Here you can first click on quick setup and you can select your style and the keyboard. Also whether you want dark or light appearance, just like that. And you can save these settings and once you are ready, you can click on time to draw. Now you click on new document and this is the user interface. All the tools are available on the left hand side. These are the tools for drawing regular shapes. Then there are tools for freehand drawing. At the bottom you have this color palette. On the right hand side you have document properties. And if you select any of these tools then you will see the tool options at the top. As you can notice that there are too many options in Inkscape and this video is not intended to describe all these tools. I will make another video, a beginner's tutorial for Inkscape soon on my channel. If you are interested, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. But to get you started, if you click on file, then document properties in this display area, you can select any of these sizes for your document. So this is one thing you need at the start. Similarly, in view tab, there is a show hide option. And this is the option where you can select some of the parameters of this user interface. For example, if I uncheck these rulers, you notice that ruler will disappear. So you can check or uncheck these things here. Then you can simply click on, for example, this tool and you can draw any regular shape just like that. Or you can draw freehand. So this was a quick introduction to Inkscape. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.